Naperville North and Naperville Central always put on a fantastic showing when the rival schools go head-to-head -head for their yearly crosstown showdowns no matter the sport. This winter, these historic rivals must bond and work together on the ice as members of the brand new Naperville Hockey Club. The formation came due to low numbers in both programs, which led to Naperville Central not having a varsity team at all last season. You're in a Naperville settlement, so it's pretty much, it's landlocked. There's not really any new development coming in. Um, everything, it's already, it's an older subdivision of Naperville. Uh, not too many new families coming in, and then when there is, they have real, real young children, so majority of them are not even in school yet. So the numbers have just been dwindling uh, as far as it coming to the high school hockey part of it. I didn't believe it at first. Uh, I was kind of shocked because it's North, but um, I like it. It's awesome. Uh, I like getting together with the boys, but uh, we're doing great so far, so that's what matters. The Naperville Hockey Club becomes the second combined team in the area, with the other being the Warriors Hockey Club, made up of Matia and Wobonzi Valley players. With both high schools teaming together, you'd figure that Husky Red Hawk rivalry would play a minor factor, but thanks to their time spent together in the youth hockey club days, any bad blood is not showing up on the ice. A lot of these guys actually end up growing up playing youth hockey, playing club hockey together. From my eyes and from what I'm seeing and then hearing between the locker room, between the bench, um, you know, it, it's, it's gone pretty good so far. I didn't really know how it was going to like turn out at the start. I didn't know like how the relationships would work out, but it, I, I think it's been good so far. Like we've really clicked and created like new friendships and stuff. This is not the first time that the Red Ox and Huskies have teamed up during the hockey season. A decade ago, the Naperville North program was shut down for two years due to low roster numbers, forcing Husky players to join Naperville Central JV and varsity programs during the time. For the Central players who didn't even have a varsity season last year, the idea of teaming up with their crosstown rival still came as a surprise. But in a sport like hockey, you need to have trust in your teammates if you are going to have any kind of success, so the transition has been a smooth one since the start. Initially, I was kind of nervous because it's two different schools coming together, but uh, it's been great. So we do see a difference on JV and varsity with uh, J uh, North and Central players. It's more of North on varsity, but it's been great. Um, it's a lot more intensity than I thought it would be, and the boys really do care. So um, it's been a great season so far, and I'm looking forward to another you know, strong rest of the season. Most of the lines are mixed with Central and North kids, so we've grown together and just formed a better team. While some of the former Huskies might not be crazy about the amount of red in the new uniforms, the club is off to a great start this season, which includes a recent 6-4 win in the Carolina Cup semifinals against the Oswego Co-op. That victory sets up a date with the Warriors Hockey Club in the finals. While the team is excited about their excellent start to the season, Coach Guevara knows that the team still has a lot of work to do in the next couple of months. It's really just one game at a time, one practice session at a time, and it's everything's in, in, in the players' hands. So I mean, we're, we're, we're just there, just basically just to guide them. With, with these guys, especially on the varsity end of it, we have a lot of intelligence on, on, on that team and the support that they give one another. And again, it's, it's in their hands. If all goes well, this group of rivals turned teammates could find themselves competing with the top teams in the Illinois West and have a chance for a playoff run in the combined division of the Blackhawk Cup. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Patrick Cotto.